All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a professional or duty grade optic from Sig Sauer, the Romeo 4 XT Pro. This one packs a ton of specs and features into an incredibly nice optic, but this one isn't going to be cheap, but it will be a high value option. The MSRP on this guy is right around $760 to $780, and before you click away, it is nowhere near that price from Optics Planet. Now, Optics Planet is a huge supporter of the channel, and they actually sent this one over at my request. In fact, all the optics I get from Optics Planet are my requests, and they are nice enough to send them out to try, and I figured it was a perfect match for this more premium Wolfpack Armory AR-15, kind of a jack-of-all-trades rifle setup. So when this drops on the top, you get a ton of capability because more than just a red dot, it actually incorporates a BDC reticle or a multi-reticle design that you can select different modes, insane waterproof and durability ratings, and an overall great feature set, which we'll talk about throughout the full overview. Now, before we get too far into it, I do want to give a huge shout-out to AACMO for always supporting the channel and helping out we've been running a ton of their new 62 grain and it's been working out great and they also have the tried and true 55 grain they're expanding their lineup every day and if you want more information you can head over to the campsite page to gather some about that but a huge shout out to aac we've been running thousands of rounds through it without a single issue so far great stuff now, OP also has some discounts available. You'll be able to find that info in the description below across the board. And over on the campsite page, there's some other opportunities from Optics Planet's website that you may find interesting, but let's dig right in. Now, the price of this guy is right around $579 or $599, depending on the version you select and before any applicable discounts. But like I said, more info on the campsite page and the description. So what does that get you? Let's take a look at some of the basic specs and features from the side and what's actually included in the box. One of the first things I want to mention is it does include sacrificial flip-up lens covers that actually work insanely well. These have been very durable and are integrated into the optic really nice. Uh, we always do a water bottle test at the end of the video and one of the first things to break off on an optic will be these sacrificial lens covers and if they survive that then you know they're top tier so uh, we'll check to see if they survive. Um, I have a feeling they will. Uh, these have just been holding up really good but it's nice because they're ultra clear and if you get mud or dirt or debris especially in some type of personal defense role and instead of trying to wipe off those lenses you can pop them down and then engage your target there the other thing is the mount itself is rock solid a beefy mount and you've got that crossbar lock not a crossbar lock you've got the actual uh large bolt is what I'm trying to say right here and that thing works out well. You also have some other lens options inside here. Uh, you actually have fully covered ones if you want to go that way and then you also have a low profile mount in the box, a wrench, all of the tools you need and some even more lens covers in there. So these guys have you covered across the board with whatever you need with your optic which is nice to see especially on an optic like this. Now, I'm going to be really hard on this optic because of the price. Like, I, I feel like when you're spending this much on an optic, you are creeping into EOTech and Aimpoint territory, so you better be doing what they're doing, but you better be doing it better since you're not those guys. And Sigman is killing it, I'm telling you, with this mounting system and all of the accessories they include in the box for the price. The next thing I want to mention is it runs off of a AAA battery, which is going to be key. And with that AAA battery, you are getting an insanely long battery life because it does have that MOTAC technology. It's going to power down or go into sleep mode when it doesn't sense motion, and it's going to automatically turn back on. So that is going to be great right there for those personal defense situations. You don't want to be fumbling with buttons when you go to engage your target. And I love the fact that this runs off of a AAA battery, and you're going to want to hear me out on this. For me, I like AAA batteries in my optics, especially my professional or duty-grade optics, because I'm generally going to be carrying this rifle along with a plate carrier, some type of kit, or different battle belt. A lot of times in that plate carrier, I'm going to run smaller EDC flashlights. Um, those, a lot of times, will run off of a AAA battery. My electronic hearing pro will run off of a AAA battery. We're going to have different radios 
radios, uh, uh, they may run off of AAA batteries. Now, not the professional grade radios by any means. Most of those are rechargeable, but you get the point. The point is there's a lot of things that I use in my kit that run off of AAA batteries. So I always keep about uh, six to seven AAA batteries in something like a like long-term survival bag or something like that. I keep uh, AAA batteries in my car. I also keep at least um, four AAA batteries. If my ear pro is running four, then I'll keep four inside my carrier kit or something like that for my range bag. So uh, it's very easy to carry AAA batteries and swap them out if you need to, but I doubt you will because the fact that this such has a long insanely long battery life. Now, this also is IPX8 waterproof rated. And when it's IPX8 waterproof rated, that thing is 20 meters for one hour. This is truly like a mil spec optic. This is a true duty grade battle ready optic. You can fully submerge your rifle for an hour and be good to go. So you do not have to worry about the waterproof rating of this rifle. Um, the other thing is this one does have uh, an insanely bright reticle system. You don't have to worry about this being too dim in any type of lighting situation. It also has a night vision override button that you can click over and click off. And it also has a multi reticle setting and we will take a look at that in a minute. With this reticle, you can either get just the dot itself, you can get just the dot and the BDC drop specifically set up for whatever you want, and it gives you that information right here. You can get just the circle and the dot or the circle and the dot with the BDC reticle system. So this gives you a ton of information, and you can really use or select exactly what you want to do. For me, a lot of times for precision shooting at a distance, I will click it to just the dot or just the BDC, tone it down real low so I get a crisp dot. And man, was this easy to take shots at 150, 160 yards. No problem whatsoever, which is again, great for this jack of all trades rifle. And that reticle is gonna give you that added bonus of having some of those extras right there. This is also made out of 7075 CNC aluminum housing, which is gonna be stronger than 6061 and not really add that much weight to it. And you have protected and capped turrets. So there's no way to like bump or knock these turrets. They are fully protected. And this housing is insanely durable along with that mount. The glass is very clear. The emitter stays completely buried out of the way. And there's almost nothing negative to say about this optic other than the price. But if I had to pick one optic right now for this tubular design optic, um, this would be the one I would be selecting right now around this price point. I, I went into it blind. I went into it not trying this. I love Sig Sauer products. I just, I just knew it was going to have to be great to justify this high price, and it is. I mean, every aspect of it is awesome. Now, you are running that smaller tubular style red dot. So are there going to be better competition red dots out there on the market? Yes. I mean, there's going to be things like the Hollow Sun that I just reviewed from Optics Planet that's got a large viewing window and it's a little bit cheaper, but you may not get the exact same specs and features and you don't get the multi-reticle design and the BDC reticle that this one has, but it's more of a different feel optic and it's in a different price category so there are going to be other optics that i recommend on this channel around this price point but for a general purpose jack of all trades professional grade duty grade or personal defense grade optic this is killing it it's a great opportunity i wouldn't mind having a handful more for a ton of other builds and again it goes perfectly with this wolfpack armory but enough talk and let's head down to the range and do that water bottle test we are not going to cut it any slack just because of what it says on paper we're going to see how it performs and if these are still on and uh, this optic survives at the end man a thumbs up but let's head down to the range and try it out now it's time for the water bottle beatdown. If you're unfamiliar, that's where we apply G-forces to the optic with a full bottle of water. And this has broken many optics in the past or dislodged mounts. This one should be fully capable of handling it. I don't see a reason why, but that's why we test these things, especially for the price. Uh, we're gonna fire three shots to confirm zero on camera, then beat it up and see how it performs. And again, a huge shout out to AAC Ammo for making this all possible. We are again using their ammo to perform this test. They both have 55 grain and 62 grain and are always expanding their lineup. So a huge shout out to AAC, but let's get to shooting.
So forgive the sun, it is pointing right in our eyes, but here is our group. We're shooting at the number seven. I might have pulled this one, not sure, but uh, generally anything smaller than the size of my hand is a pass, and you may think that's pretty large, but I've had optics completely go three feet left, fall off the gun, break, move all around and string. So having them at the size of my hand after this test is a pass. Anything smaller than the size of my fist is an absolute pass uh, at the top tier of this test, but let's beat it up and see how it performs. Now to start the water bottle beatdown test for youtube purposes all of the mags used are low cap mags and perfectly legal for monetization so we are giving this thing some good smacks on the side the top the bottoms and on the mount let's see Beat down number two. Hit this thing hard. Oh, we broke the water bottle. We broke the water bottle. We got it back up, but get a little water on it. Whoo! Round number two. So they've got these flip up lenses right here. We've got water all over the lenses, and we broke another water bottle. This thing is taking them out. We're not gonna cut any slack. A lot of beat downs on this last one. Make sure it performs. The rifle is running good. And it's the top, the sides, the mount. Ooh. Last three shots. Oh yeah, guys, that is a 100% pass. I mean, a third of the size of my fist, absolute pass, no hands down. This thing is absolutely killing it. I love to see that, especially in an optic like this. In summary, this is an absolutely great, durable option. It's held up perfectly fine, and I really fallen in love with something like this. Again, super clear glass, incredibly rigid, ultra crisp dot, just a good quality dot all around. Again, thank you to the supporters of the channel, Optics Planet, for sending this out. Uh, they just always are always supporting us, getting us the cool new stuff out. And then again, a huge shout out to AAC. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.